Hello, I'm Veronica Spriggs and welcome to another digital scrapbooking tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to use Photoshop to recolor our scrapbooking elements. Photoshop is a very powerful tool and offers you a variety of ways to do um, a variety of tasks. So I'm going to show you three different ways to effectively recolor your elements in Photoshop. We're going to get started with probably one of the most commonly used um, methods and that's the hue saturation tool. In order to use the hue saturation tool, since we're going to be using colorize, I'm going to go ahead and pre-select the color that I want to use on my element. I'm going to select the eyedropper tool and go over to my swatches panel and select a pretty pink. Now I'm going to go up to my image adjustments and hue saturation. The reason why I'm using this selection for hue saturation is because if I were to choose the hue saturation that's here on your layers panel it would apply that color to the entire image. So we're going to go over to image adjustments hue saturation and because I already have my color selected I can now just click on colorize now I'm going to use my saturation tool to pump up the color a little bit. And you'll notice the further I go with the saturation, the brighter pink it becomes. You can also use the lightness, lower that and that's going to bring it down a little bit darker and you can of course bring it up that's going to make it a little bit pinker a little brighter and you want to make sure that you're not going to go too far with that because if you do you're going to get a washed out image and I think this looks really good select OK and you're done uh, you'll see here that I've selected out the center of the image because I want that to remain its own separate color but if I hadn't done that you'll see that now the entire image is pink. Okay that's it for hue saturation. Now I'm going to back up and I'm going to show you our next method. The next method we're going to use is the color replacer tool. You will find that again in image, adjustments, replace color. Now to use the repla color replacer tool what you do is you select on your eyedropper tool and you come over here and you select the color that you want to replace and you'll see that once you click here in this area the color that you've chosen will become selected or highlighted in your mask area so since I want to replace all of this color what I'm going to do is holding down my shift key I'm going to use my eyedropper tool and I'm going to basically select just keep dragging it holding down the shift key and dragging it until pretty much everything is selected you can now see that my entire area is white and has been masked out so what I'm going to do now is click on my result panel. This is the color that I would like to change it to. So click on the result. Now I'm going to go over to my swatch panel. Click again on the pretty pink. And you can see that it's already replaced our color. And as with the hue saturation tool, you can go ahead and bump up your saturation if you like. Play with the lightness make it lighter, a little bit deeper, and I like it just a little bit deeper. You don't want to mess with the hue too much because if you do you're going to change the color that you selected. If you do want to change the hue just a little bit you can experiment and you can see that you're going into your purples, deeper purple which is actually really pretty but for this video we're gonna stay with the pink. 
So you have those three options to work with. Your hue, which is going to change the color. Your saturation, which is going to bump up the brightness or bump it down if that's what you choose of the color that you selected. And the lightness, which is going to give you a little bit deeper or a little bit lighter color. Select OK. And you've recolored your element using the color replacer tool. Okay, so I'm going to now show you the very last method of replacing color, which is going to be through our style panel. Select your element layer, double click, and that's going to open up our layer style panel. And we want to choose color overlay. Now you instantly have changed the color of your uh, flower, but of course it doesn't look too good. So we're going to have to go in and make some adjustments. Click on the color and you want to go over to your uh, swatch panel or you could go over here to your um, foreground background color, whichever is easier and select OK. Now you've got the groundwork. I want to I want to point out um, you'll notice that I did not grayscale this element at all before I um, did any of the recoloring. That is an option that you can do. If you leave the color as it was originally you you'll get a little bit more depth once you've recolored the element but if you find that your color is not coming out true enough then you will want to go back and grayscale it and then come in and recolor it okay so now we're going to play around a bit to get this where we want it to be using your keyboard you want to um, First, we're going to select on normal because we want to be able to toggle using our arrow keys, toggle through the different color blending modes. And you'll see that each mode, it starts to change a little bit. When I'm doing a recolor, I like to, st I like to stay with either multiply, although it does tend to leave the image a little bit flat. I like to use multiply, color burn, linear burn and then I skip down to if I wanted it to be a little bit brighter I'd skip down to screen linear dodge linear dodge is really good because sometimes it, it's not effective on the image itself but sometimes it's good to go back in and add a second layer and add in some dodging which really brings out the highlights in an image so basically I'm just toggling through all the different blending modes and I'm going to make a selection on which one I think looks the prettiest. Here you have your hue saturation which basically gives you the color that you were looking for. Um, but you can tell that it has a completely different hue to it. and color. Color is probably the blending mode that you'll choose most often because it generally gives you a pretty true uh, representation of the color that you selected. So since I am kind of liking it a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now one thing that you can do when you're recoloring your elements is bring in a little bit of depth and you're going to do that by duplicating your layer and clicking on, I'm done with that, so I'm going to close that out. Clicking on your effects mode. And you can go back in now and you can change your blending mode. I'm going to go with the color dodge. And now I'm going to change that to... screen 
lower my opacity. Now you can see the difference between the two. I'm going to lower it just a little bit more. And there you have it. You've uh, learned three different methods for coloring your items in Photoshop. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.